The other day, YouTube presented me with a video from one of my favorite DVD creators named Das Food. In the video, he listed out 12 licenses that he would like to see come to DVD. Now, I made a similar video a while back, but in that one, I just listed out a bunch of licenses I thought would be cool. Instead, Das Food used a template created by another user over on Twitter, or X, named The Walking Dead by Daylight. I thought it was a really neat template that crosses multiple genres, and between that and Das Food's inherent charm, it made for a pretty enjoyable video. So it prompted me to want to go back and update the video I did back when I only had around 800 subscribers, but this time using the same template to give it a bit more of a focused approach. So to give credit to where credit is due, I want to thank The Walking Dead by Daylight for the template and Das Food for inspiring me to update my list. Their respective accounts will be linked in the description if you want to check them out. I'm sure that a lot of my choices are going to be controversial, so please let me know in the comments where you would agree and where you will no doubt disagree. I'd love to hear your thoughts. Let's get going. The first category has me choosing a classic horror film. This template considers anything pre-2000 as classic. Boy, does that make me feel old. But then, does that make me a classic? For this, I picked John Carpenter's The Thing from 1982. I had not actually watched this movie until recently, but after seeing it show up on so many best of lists, I was very interested to see it. And let me tell you, it lived up to the hype. Great body horror and a phenomenal sense of psychological tension or paranoia. I'd of course want to see McCready as a survivor, and The Thing could work well as a pseudo stealth killer. It could take the form of survivors who are actively in the trial, matching cosmetics and everything, similar to what people thought The Legion would be before they released. It could then alternate between a survivor covert form and a monster form. I know technically the thing assimilated its victims, so having it take the form of a survivor who's still in the trial technically breaks that consistency, but is the best way I could think of for it to create that same sense of paranoia amongst the survivors where you just can't trust anyone you're working with not to be the thing in disguise. If anyone has a better idea how to do that, I'm all ears. Next up is modern horror, aka anything post-2000, and my pick for this one is still gonna be 28 Days Later. Jim and Selena are my obvious choice for survivors. For the killer, it could be a person infected with the rage virus. To rub salt in the wound, you could actually make it frank. I imagine that they'd work a little bit like the blight being quick but hard to control. That would induce the problem of how to differentiate this killer from blight, but 28 Days Later is my favorite horror movie of all time, so that doesn't stop me from wanting it to come to DVD. It's incredibly unlikely, but with a third movie in the works, who knows? For horror television, I'd go with The Walking Dead. Now, despite having played lots of horror games over the years, I have not actually watched that many horror movies until more recently, and I've watched even less horror television. So in a way, The Walking Dead wins by default, but I still really enjoy it the first few seasons especially. Rick Grimes and Daryl would be my top choices for Survivor. The question for me then is, would this be a Survivor-only chapter, or could one of the more villainous characters like the governor work as a killer? I'm not really sure. I don't think that a generic Walking Dead zombie would make a great killer, but perhaps I'm wrong on that. Let me know what you think. For the horror game I'd like to see in DVD, I'm gonna go again with The Evil Within. I've honestly yet to finish the game, but I've played a good amount of it, and it's very tense and truly horrifying. I think that it would fit very well in DVD alongside Resident Evil and Silent Hill. Sebastian and Julie should be the survivors in my opinion. For the killer, I know a lot of people who have said this have argued for the keeper, but Laura scared me more than just about anything from any game ever. I can't think of a boss fight that has unsettled me more. She could have a teleport ability moving around using bodies spawned around the map, and survivors could slow her down by burning them. I think that the mechanics are there, and she'd make for a terrifying character to play against, and so she's my choice for a chapter like this. For a sequel chapter, I'm gonna go with Stranger Things. It's easily one of my favorite shows. I even enjoy season two. For survivors, I have to have Jim Hopper. It's an absolute necessity, but I'd also be satisfied with Robin or Eddie as well. For the killer, their version of Vecna makes the most sense to me. Obviously that would put two Vecnas in the game, but since DBD assigns each character a, a different name as well, I think that kind of takes care of that and it would be acceptable. Now, if you're enjoying the video, would you let me know by hitting that like button? And if you're not already subscribed, would you consider supporting me by subscribing to the channel? I also have a membership option that gives you exclusive access to my library of non-DBD videos, along with some other perks, all for the price of a not so fancy cup of coffee per month. If you're interested, click that join button below to learn more. For a celebrity that I'd like to see added to the game, I'd love for them to add Bill Murray. I think he fits in in every bit as much as Nick Cage does. He'd bring a bit of lighthearted humor that goes well within such a dark world. I think it'd be a natural fit. And there's a lot of potential for skins from Ghostbusters all the way to Zombieland. Now we get to what I fear will be one of the most controversial sections, anime or manga. True confession, I don't really watch anime. I know. A friend in college tried to get me into it. I do enjoy it, but it doesn't inherently draw me. To me, it's kind of like an almond joy. Every single time I have one, I always thoroughly enjoy it. 
but I have never had the craving to actually go out and get one of my own volition. If it's there, I'll eat it and enjoy it, but I never seek it out. And the same thing goes for anime for me. So I'm admittedly very ignorant. The only anime I'd say I have a strong affection for is Cowboy Bebop. So by default, I have to answer that, but I realize it has absolutely nothing about it that fits within DVD. So I'm preparing myself for the comments on this one. Moving on quickly to comic book character, I'm gonna go with the Joker. I'd love to see a truly demented and gritty version of the Joker in the game. Bruce Wayne could even be the survivor, trapped in the fog without access to the Batsuit and all of his gadgets. I think it'd be pretty neat. Okay, on to another controversial one, and this is gonna be my choice for music. I'm gonna go with the Smashing Pumpkins. Another true confession. Most of the music I've listened to over the course of my life has no real fit in DVD. This is another area where I'm very ignorant. A lot of you will laugh, but probably the hardest stuff I've listened to with any regularity over the years is old school Smashing Pumpkins. I'm also from Chicago originally, so I'm biased, but I would love some Smashing Pumpkins merch for my survivors. For something horror adjacent, I'd love to see the Terminator. One option would be to base it on the first movie, probably the best option. Sarah Connor and Kyle Reese would be the most obvious choices for survivors, and then Arnie's Terminator would make for a great character for Killer. A second option would be to base it on the second movie, Movie and have Sarah Connor and Arnie as their survivors, the killer then could be the T-1000 or even a, just a generic T-800 would work. Though I'd argue that this is probably a less sensible option because why would Arnie make sense as a survivor who could be hooked and sacrificed? It would break DBD lore as well because it wouldn't make sense for the entity to want to feed off the emotions of an emotionless cyborg. So now that I've talked it out, obviously basing it on the first movie would make the most sense. Onto an original chapter that I'd like to see them do, I was thinking a lichen or werewolf would be cool. As I was writing this, I realized I didn't actually know the difference between a lichen and a werewolf, so I looked it up. Apparently, a lichen can control what form it takes, whereas a werewolf cannot. So for DBD, I'd obviously go with a lichen then that can transform between human and wolf form. They could be a mix of a legion and a demo, alternating between a quick, stealthy human form and then have a brute force creature mode. I think it'd be pretty cool, and it's one of the common horror characters that they haven't already done. The last category is for an honorable mention for which I chose the movie Event Horizon. There's a couple that I could put here. My last video, I mentioned A Quiet Place. I think that would be a great one too, but few movies have disturbed me like Event Horizon. If you haven't seen it, it centers around a spaceship that was designed to be able to essentially create wormholes to travel through space. It ends up disappearing and returning many years later, and so a rescue crew is sent to basically find out what happened to the crew. And as they're exploring the ship, the crew is nowhere to be found, and they basically find out that the ship itself had created a wormhole to essentially space hell. The crew went completely insane and did horrible things to themselves and each other. And that starts to happen to this salvage crew that went to figure out what's going on. It's a very, very disturbing movie. And if you want to make it more disturbing, head over to the IMDB page and read about what other scenes they filmed, but ultimately cut from the movie because it was quite literally too much. But this is in my honorable mention slot, mostly because I think it would be quite complicated to actually implement from a gameplay perspective. Miller, who was played by Lawrence Fishburne, makes sense to me as Survivor. An insane Dr. Weir, who was played by Jurassic Park Sam Neill, would be the most obvious choice as Killer. There would need to be some kind of insanity effect, like Doctor on steroids. And the Killer's abilities could be designed around inducing some kind of paranoia or lack of trust in what the survivors see making them see things that aren't there. I'm thinking like a generator that vanishes or moves around so you're never quite sure if you're seeing reality or hallucination, if you're working towards your objective or wasting your time. This would obviously need to be balanced somehow, but I'll leave that to the game designers. If you've seen the movie and have ideas of how it could work, let me know in the comments. So that is my updated list. Big thanks again to Das Food and The Walking Dead by Daylight for the inspiration. Feel free to post your thoughts below. I'd like to shout out our channel members, Father Sway, Zero Cool, Two Turtles in a Bathtub, Boop TS, Azdami, Cinder Dragmire, Smug Neo, and Arjax. Thank you for your support of the channel. And to everyone, as always, you are awesome, stay awesome, and we'll see you in the next episode. Cheers.